Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. As I was stepping through the process of you know, mounting the disk inside the time capsule as a network disk, uh, which, by the way, showed up just fine, I realized that I, I may have had two settings configured that would be causing conflict. I was trying to use it as a, a network attached storage device as well as a, a broadcast or a repeater and for some reason or another the configuration wasn't working as, as it should have so uh, I went back reset everything and to the factory settings started over again and when I stepped through it a second time it, it, it warned me it said well it warned me twice it said first of all you've got it set up to configure it over WAN are you sure you want to do that and so I'm able to go in and configure that. If, if, if I want to, I can turn that on or turn that off. And then, more importantly, it warned me. It says, hey, you're assigning DHCP when there's another device on your network that's assigning DHCP. Are you sure you want to do that? Click no to turn it off. That's the kind of error checking that I'm talking about. It's not an uh-oh at all. It would have been an uh-oh if they wouldn't have helped me try to figure out what, what I had done wrong. Again, I know I've got a quirky configuration in my home network. I mean, I'm going through a switch here that's going through uh, the, the home network into the, I mean, it's, it is nutty how, you know, even though I've got networking built into this house, like Cat 5e e strung about everywhere, um, that doesn't mean that it's not a complex network. So I have to, I have to say, uh, I am overly impressed that uh, this actually freaking worked. Unbelievable! Like, uh, wow. So now, uh, now that I set it up and it, it it told me what I was doing, what it told me what I was doing wrong. I, remember how I was illustrating that in the setup video? I would say how it would do things like that. It did it. I should have recorded that actually. Uh, in fact, let me see if I can get into the warnings. Uh, right here now, I've got the time capsule disk set up. It's got the capacity. If I wanted to, I can erase it. It's got the how many users are connected to it, how much is being used, available capacity. Uh, click disconnect all users if you want to unplug a disk. Uh, then you can set up file sharing here. Enable file sharing with time capsule passwords. Uh, I can change the work group, which is Parthenon. Ponzi just got offline, or she sent me a message, I think, one of the two. Where is she? Babe? I'm zoomed out, so I can't see her. Uh, it's asking if I want to allow SMP, SNMP, um, so I can read the logs, which is good waiting for the time capsule to restart. The file server iMore lock has closed, that's fine. Waiting for it to restart. Then I'm watching the light, which of course I won't be able to see because it'll be sitting behind the ticks. Sorry, just wanted to make one little small configuration change there just to make sure everything is going to be happy so that when I'm rocking and rolling, we will be good. This is where I, I was again impressed with the way that uh, OS X works. Within a matter of seconds in rebooting, where apparently Ponzi's IMing me. She says, Are you not going? I need to call and cancel. Babe, I said, No, I am going. I want fondue. We're going out for fondue. Why am I pink? Why am I pink and why is she blue? That's my question. Thank you, OS X. Okay, down here in my shared section in the finder window, you see, well, here, let me pull it over here. Be easier for you to see. Uh, Air, Icarus, I, Morlock, Socrates, and Terabot. Socrates is Ponzi's computer. I haven't renamed it as of late, and Terabot was the name of my original NAS. Uh, I, Morlock is, look at that. See, they even have the icon, Icarus and Air, or I, I, Icarus and Air are the MacBook Air, which I only named Air at this point. I gotta go through and I gotta rename my network. It's all over the map. Icarus is this particular machine. You notice the MacBook Pro has got two little pixels and the Air doesn't, so that must be signifying the difference between those two. I'm Morlock. Let's click it. I'm Morlock connected as Chris. I'm Morlock, and I can eject this disk if I want to. Or, what I'm actually going to do is open up Time Machine, 
and you'll have to pardon. I'm scrolling in, in nice and zoomy. I think, you know, honestly, I know screencasting is important. I use I show you on the Mac for screencasting, but I like interacting with the screen and zooming in and, and pointing things out. Don't you think this is like a lot more exciting than just pointing at the screen? I mean, I show you is good for that, but I'm saying like you can actually, I can zoom things around and everything. Okay, so time machine right here. It's a big switch. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna turn it on. We're gonna see a couple hard disks, including I'm or lock, which is on the network. I'm gonna use it for backup. Show time machine status in the menu bar. I'm or lock, latest backup. Next backup in 114 seconds. Great. It's asking me if I do not want to backup anything. Nah, I'll be good. Uh, I think I'm going to be okay now. Uh, the time machine setting should be inside the menu bar. If I can find it. I got too many icons in my menu bar. There we go. Why don't we enter time machine? Of course, I haven't backed up yet. Um, the question is, okay, I haven't backed up. I got to wait until I back up, and then this will be fun. So let me close. Let me go back in. The only thing I didn't like about that is the second monitor kind of flashed there at the end. Apple needs to work on that. Little fit and finish, guys. Can't expect perfection. No matter. Uh, okay, so after the <clears throat> device told me what I needed to do, because I screwed it up, PebCAC! PebCAC. That was an ID10T error, which the time capsule apparently can help you through. I told you. I told you. And now uh, I'm going to be backing up in uh, 43 seconds or so. So we're going to shove the cables back through the hole. Pop this out just a bit. You can email me, chris at perlo.com. You know any other gadgets or gizmos that uh, you'd like to see me unbox? Of course, I can't buy everything, so I do need a little assistance sometimes. Sometimes I, I will buy it, though, if it's cool enough. I bought that. I bought that. Actually, a sponsor bought that. I did buy that. Actually, Ponzi bought that. I did buy it. No, I didn't. Okay, so I, I buy some of the things and some of the things I get to review. I like reviewing things for a living. It's so much fun. And you know what else is fun? Chatting with everybody who's out there. We had about 800 people who watched me unbox the uh, time capsule. Sorry, I was, I was reaching for the box. It's not in here. It's in there. Guess, guess behind which one? And now uh, we still have hundreds of people who are still tuning in as we record videos every single day to upload them to the internet. Much like Oprah uh, will do now. Apparently she has a, a YouTube account. And she is broadcasting live over the internet. I don't know if, if only someone had you know thought about doing that before. Oh, and she also takes live calls. If only someone had thought of doing that before. She also has an IRC chat room. Oh no, she doesn't. Be crazy. Oprah is a Perillo wannabe, and we all know it. She never stops by the community, though. She never stops by the chat room, which is kind of disappointing because we like talking about tech stuff and, and relating you know, practical advice to people who aren't as geeky as we might be. So even if you're not a geek, you're welcome to stop by the chat room and watch as something may unfold in front of your eyes because we're streaming this live video and audio out over the internet every single day, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, sometimes eight days a week uh, when there are beetles in the house. Uh, but mostly just seven days a week all the time we're waiting for you so what are you waiting for stop by live.perillo.com we'll see you later